Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Long has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. shut it down. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Brought down the 36-yard line. about the 36. From their own 36-yard line. Third down. And he tackles him hard at the 24. Stokes will be the return man. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. And down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Nice run there, Brooks. Gains around six yards on the run. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. Wilson is waiting for the snap. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He steps out 
at about the 29 yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Taylor is the punter. He's at midfield. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Taken down around the 50-yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. From the 50, it's second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Receiver and it falls incomplete. Certainly they don't have the return on here. You gotta wonder right now which offense is gonna open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up because right now. Not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. They're about four yards away here on second down. On the ground with the tailback. Gets to about the 17-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. Looking for the corner. He's to the 40, and he shoved out of bounds at the 42. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. and he's got his man tackled around the 44-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. We played one. No score here. We 
can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. He makes it to the 42-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball in the 42. job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And a quick throw. And they make the stop. Right around the 38-yard line. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Middle got his tight end. They'll bring him down at the 28 yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Now that's how you run a corner. Run. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. First and 10. Ball on the 16 yard line. gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. 13th play of the drive coming up. He's tackled at the 16. From the 16-yard line, it's third down. Here comes the pressure, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Iowa could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance, and it's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 3 nothing, Iowa sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Brad, right, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football and check it down or take off and run with it. And they got him. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. And he's taken down around the 37-yard line. Jones is back deep to return. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Iowa has a three-point lead. made at the 34 and that run got stuck yeah you're right the defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there from their own 34 yard line second down caught out of 
the open. And he's tackled at the 41. Side. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Iowa's going to take their first time out of the half. Iowa holds a field goal lead. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. From the seven yard line, second down. out to about the six-yard line. And this is the tenth play of the drive. He's on the run, and he hits him hard at the 14-yard line. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. Now. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. The Hawkeyes running back. He was injured earlier. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. up and it sails through the uprights looks like they're ready for the kick excellent kick this one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback i give the defense credit but right now i think it's more case of sloppy offense yeah you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset they're very well prepared but I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all sides. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. Second and six. Ball on the 29-yard line. Throw. He's hit and taken down. So they complete that for about seven yards, and they'll pick up a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Blue 
He scrambled, tries to get around the corner, and he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. At this point, boys, you're playing against the defense and the clock, so you might want to consider to hurry things up. We head into halftime with both offenses struggling. 6-0, Iowa. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Very close game now as we start the second half. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Hawkeyes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football field. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Makes it out to about the 33. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Nice run there as they work the outside. Second down and nine to go. The ball on their own 40. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Complete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Wilson awaits the snap. Gets to about the 27-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish. Come on! Looks like the offense has it. Second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Iowa with a six-point lead. They'll get him for a loss. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, 
Probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. They hook up over the middle. He's taken down at the 48 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's at the 40. He's at the 30 for the 20. The 10. And a huge touchdown play. Wow. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. the extra point. A four-play, 74-yard drive, and the result, seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He lets it fly. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Pitch it, and now the ball is loose. And who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. Kirk, what happened on the option play there? Well, you got to give credit to the defense. They knew what was coming, and they came up and made the play. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Touchdown! What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. He splits the uprights with the extra point. to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Tulsa's getting stomped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency, score, and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points on tries to buy some time, and he's going to be sacked. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. And that's what happened there. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 24. goes at the 24. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Throws off balance incomplete. He had to get rid of that one in a hurry. The defensive coordinator cooked up a good blitz package that time, and although it didn't result in a sack, it forced a bad throw. Jones is back deep to return the punt. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. Iowa's built on their halftime lead here in the 
third quarter, Kurt. Well, I think they've done a really good job of finding some matchups to their advantage, and they've just gone after this defense, and it's allowed them to put up some points on the board. Here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's tackled at the 50-yard line. Incomplete. Not enough strength on that pass, and it hits the turf. Oh, boy, he wishes he had that play to do over. Could have been big yardage there. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Brought down at the 41-yard line. play action and they make the stop at the 24 yard line you know the wide receiver here does a good job of running a nice route but i think it's the concentration what he did at the end of the route that made the difference he felt the coverage he knew that he had a man on him but he's able to keep the defender away from the football and go up and make a nice catch first down 10 yards to go ball on the 24 yard line He is drilled at the 32. Well, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here they come. And he's taken down at about the 15-yard line. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. He gets it up, and it is good. Iowa to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. Just throws this one away. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. Wilson is the punter.
He's pushed out of bounds. At about the 49 for Tulsa. They've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This is turning into a day that the offensive line wants to forget. This offense is not only struggling in the pass protection department, they're struggling to get yards. Well, when your overall average is less than four yards of play, that's the definition of struggling. And for Iowa, they haven't busted off any long runs or hit any deep passes for that matter. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. to fit it in there and it'll be intercepted. Just when it looked like this offense might be able to put this game out of reach, you turn the football over with an interception, boy, this could come back in a big way to bite you. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Nice run and he's brought down. That's three down and one to go. The Hawkeyes lead it by 23. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Caught out in the open. He's tackled in the open field. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36. Black five. Nice run there. Brooks comes away with around five yards on the delayed handoff. Quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 31. Five wide. Black five, black five, go! Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. And they'll take over on downs. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He's got an opening. Tackle made at about the 41. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Gets to about the 44-yard line. And he's tackled at the 44. From their own 44-yard line. It's second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 48. Stokes is back deep to return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Talk about a booming punt. My goodness. Again, it's about stressing special teams. That is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game.
takes it out to about the 13. From their own 13-yard line, first down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. They get five yards on the play. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling, and they got it. He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. From their own 12-yard line. It's third down. Three, check three. Three, nine, He gets out to about the 12-yard line. Jones is the deep man awaiting the return. Jones takes it at the 49. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Just under three to go in regulation. And he hits him hard at the 34. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at about the 31. heavy pressure the defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush and that time it paid off with an incompletion fourth down they're gonna try a long field goal here he gets it up and it's long enough and he splits the uprights kick he sends this one deep this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback the Hawkeyes have really been all over the place they're playing like a defense possessed I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football they are playing with a reckless attitude and it's really paid off because it set up their offense to be able to score points I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Quick throw, almost intercepted. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. a blowout and has been for most of the game. I think it's time for everybody to go home. Wilson awaits the snap. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. Four. 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 He fights forward, 
to about the 49. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Here's a give up the middle, tackled right away. Well, one team showed up strong today. The other team, unfortunately, didn't show up at all. 26 to nothing, Iowa. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.